G'day folks. Hello. How's it going? In 2019 I bought this radio. This is a Yaesu FT2D. With this radio I also bought a bunch of cables. SCU-39 YZX connection cable kit basically. In this kit comes this cable called the SCU-19 PC connection cable. This is basically a serial to USB adapter. Now since then, right, I probably programmed this radio with RT systems or the ADMS-8 software which is freely available from Yaesu. Since then, right, since, hi, how's it going? Since 2019 though, this cable the SCU-19, in conjunction with Windows 11, produces an error that you may or may not be familiar with. Do not support Windows 11 or later. Please contact your supplier. Well, bollocks. Now, initially, I was going to suggest uh, a utility called Zardig. Right, which I've been using to keep alive old serial to USB adapters. But it's becoming increasingly more difficult to get these items up and running uh, when Windows 11, for example, like to deprecate them. What Yaesu have in mind, I've vaguely heard that you have to buy a completely different cable to be able to program this stuff. When I initially used Zardig, I just thought, oh, well, I'll use Zardig to, uh, to, uh, to go and make that driver on this thing work proper. Um, it worked on this machine without a problem. Then I went to make this video and use this machine and it didn't work. I then went into it a bit further and found that that someone had dug out an installer which puts in a driver that actually works and is actually a lot simpler than trying to sort out with Zardig. I'm going to show you both methods. Zardig may work uh, but it may not as well. So you might just want to jump straight to downloading this particular driver installing it and then going from there okay here we go so first of all when you plug in the SCU 19 um, for the first time ever on a Windows 11 machine okay uh, we're gonna before we do that I'm gonna open up the device manager so to get into the device manager fairly easily on Windows 11 you just go command X that's the Windows key and X at the same time and then choose device manager uh, we're then going to go into the view menu and go show hidden devices <clears throat> this gives us uh, a better indication of what's what's happening in the background what's active what's not uh, we're going to open up these two here as well probably not that one but just universal serial bus devices and the COM ports. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you what could or could not fail. And you might be thinking to yourself, why do you, why do you want to do that? Well, it's basically just to show you where you know, before you start pulling your hair out, what's, what's wrong, what the signs are that things are not operating correctly. So now that we've got this open, the device manager... Um, and you can see here the dim ones are the are the drivers which are installed, but the devices are not connected. If you get the SCU19 from Yaesu and now plug it into a USB port on your computer, you'll have a da ding, and then it will refresh, and then here's the problem here's the problem PL 2303TA do not support Windows 11 or later please contact your supplier so 
what I did first of all, which can work, right? It worked on my other computer, but it didn't work on this one. So we'll go through the steps for it anyway. So you download a program called Zardig. So just do a search for Zardig driver. Okay, and it will come up with this Zardig USB driver installation made easy. Takes you to a web page and you can download it here. Now when you download Zardig, it's not an installer. Okay, Zardig is a self-contained application that doesn't need installing on your computer. It's portable, in other words, but you bring it to your desktop and you just launch it from there. To open up things as an administrator, we right click on it and go run as administrator. We have the UAC box come up again and here we are. Options, list all devices. Uh, because if we don't list all devices, it's not in there. Right? The device we want to install, even though it's currently active, kind of, Windows has disabled it. So it won't come up in this list. But if we go list all devices in Zardig, we'll find that it's called a USB serial controller. Now to check that, you can unplug the SCU21 and it will disappear off that list all right? and will also, you'll notice, disappear off the list from the device manager which we've still got in the background. This is a good way of just making, keeping an eye on things when you make changes. Plug it back in, wait for it to come up, it's called the USB serial controller. And you'll notice that it's selected what the current driver is, even though it's disabled or balked or not, not working in general. And we want to replace it with this one here, WinUSB. If you hover over a couple of things here, like the USB ID, it shows you that it's a prolific technology device. So what we need to do is just replace the driver, okay? Again, on this computer, I'm just warning you now, it's not going to work. But we're just going to wait for it now. Under ordinary circumstances, this program, once you hit replace driver, just sits there for a while without, without giving you any notification of what the hell is happening. And then it says, it finally says, I'm installing the driver after doing whatever in the background. It'll then continue to do this for a little while longer. You can see it's now just taken out the old driver. The background device manager is refreshed and is installing the new driver. It'll come up with a message saying it can take up to five minutes, but it generally doesn't. driver was installed successfully but has it okay if it had been installed successfully it would be in the ports tree okay but if you scroll down here it's down here universal serial bus devices prolific USB to serial com port com 7 initially that might indicate to you that it's installed correctly but it has not it's in the wrong spot it shouldn't be down here, it should be up here. So on my other computer, just reiterating, Zardig did install it completely into this area here and it works. It worked. I was then able to use the SCU19 lead with RT systems or Yasu's own ADMS-8 programming software. But if it ends up being down here, no good can't do it. So what do we do? Well best thing to do is probably uninstall it from here because it's no good. Uninstall it, disappears, close Zardig, thanks for coming, 
right? Unplug it. Okay. And then all sorts of things can happen from here. I've just plugged it back in now. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it comes up with the with the same old message. Cool. No worries. So what do we do? What do we do now? Well, it looks as though at some point after doing a bit of a search, someone has retained an installer from Prolific. It's an actual official Prolific installer for Windows 11 to get the PL to 303TA driver onto a Windows 11 machine. Now I have put that on the Wackers site, Wangler Amateur and Citizens Radio Society site. Uh, Wackers.org. Okay, if we go down here to Yasu, you just click Yasu here and then FT. 2DR here. So I just scroll down and there's a link here that says uh, Yasu FT 2DR docs which takes takes you to a um, just a, uh, a storage site but you got to look for this file here within my um, little cloud storage site here these are all going to go at some point, but this one will remain. Um, you want to download the Windows 11 PL2303 Prolific Driver Installer 1200. Download it to the desktop. Yes. Save it. Has it actually saved it? Yes, we think it has. All right. There it is, apparently, on the desktop. Okay, so we'll just extract it. Extract to there. It'll be on the Windows desktop here. And um, the uh, prolific driver installer. So I'm just going to close this stuff down and open up the device manager again. Okay. And view hidden devices, ports, com, LPT. We've still got this error message up, right, because the SCU19 is plugged in. I'm just going to go ahead with the driver installer anyway. Double click on that. This screen recorder doesn't seem to allow user account control or UAC dialogues. So you can just imagine me clicking yes. And then the installer comes up. It's pretty simple. Just go next, it installs it, and you go finish. Okay, so nothing appears to have happened. As you can see here, it's still got this up here. But if we unplug the SCU19, okay, <clears throat> will disappear very shortly. Just reduce that. And you'll now see that it says prolific USB to serial COM port COM15. Plug the SCU19 back in. Okay, and you'll see the error message come back up. The error message comes back up. And you might be thinking, oh no, it's not working. But if you uninstall that, <laughs> okay, uninstall it. Radio. Then unplug the SCU19 again and then plug it back in again, you'll see that it has now been detected correctly.
prolific USB to serial COM port COM15 and it's in the right spot ports COM and LPT. How marvellous is that? For my next trick I'm going to prove that you can now reprogram your FT2D with the Yaesu ADMS-8 software. So I'm Believe it or not, I'm plugging it into the radio now. I'm holding down the display button while turning on the radio to put it into clone mode. Okay, so FT2D, ADMS 8, so what port did we say it was? COM15 determine get data okay send there we go up and running I'll uh, probably fast forward this bit all done so now for the acid test shall we write it back send data FT2D, touch receive, touching receive, click OK, sending data. Alrighty, and uh, so yeah, there you go, it's all done, it's all good, it's working fine. I'm presuming that this also will aid those who have... Uh, another cable called an SCU20 um, but uh, uh, you can uh, get back to uh, uh, doing what you want to do now and that's uh, programming and uh, organizing and managing your radios using um, uh, a cable which you probably paid a lot of money for a few years ago and have finally you know just recently found that uh, uh, or maybe not so recently found that uh, Windows 11 has snuffed it out. Well, uh, not uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Seven threes. Take it easy.